So, hello, Subrajit. Welcome you all on your Pedia. So, I think you are giving in. You are going for an interview for MS program in IIT Madras, fine. Yes, sir. So, before moving on the actual subject, so please tell me about yourself. Okay, sir. Uh, hi, I'm Subrajit Das. Uh, I'm from Habda, West Bengal. Uh, my mother is is a housemaker, and my father has been retired. He used to serve in BSNL. I have one el one elder brother, and I have done my schooling from my native place. After that, I have done my BSc in computer science from Panyati Mahavidyalaya under West Bengal State University. Then currently, I am pursuing MSc in computer science from University of Kolkata, West Bengal. And I've achieved uh, All India Rank 530 in Gate Computer Science 2023. I've also qualified Gate 2022 Examination in Computer Science. And, uh, and apart from that, I've also qualified for UGC Net JRS uh, and Assistant Professor, as well as West Bengal Fed for Assistant Professor. And my uh, current year, current final year thesis work involves around what solving probabilistic maximal covering allocation problem using artificial decolony algorithm and and my area of uh, interest uh, is computer architecture, uh, uh, computer systems, and theory of computation, and a bit of artificial intelligence. Okay, Subrajit, uh, I think you already completed your um, master's, fine? Am I right? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I'm in uh, final semester. So, from where you are doing your master's? From University of Poland, West Bengal. It's a state government university. Okay. So then why you want to go for MS program? You already now after one year you are going like you are completed your master's program. So why you want to go for MS instead of PhD? So actually in the MSc course is equivalent, uh, is considered to be equivalent as BTEC course. So in, uh, in IITs or any job interview, uh, I am uh, equivalent to BTEC, not MTEC. So that's why I want to pursue an equivalent MTech degree or MS because both are equivalent in, in, in comparison. So before going for PhD, I want to just learn more, much more before doing actual in-depth research. I have a plan for doing PhD after MS. So where you see yourself after three to four years or five years? Yeah, actually, uh, I from my childhood, I want to be one researcher. I have two ambitions. Either I, I want to become a researcher or assistant professor or professor like that in any university or any IIT. So for that reason, uh, after being MS, I may join some PhD program. And also, if some good opportunity of research and development job, R&D job comes, I may join that also. You have any work experience? No, sir. So currently, I'm, I'm continuously studying. Yeah. Okay, Subrajit, that sounds great. And so let's move on to our actual topic that is um, data structure and algorithm. So, can you define what is an array? Yes, sir. Uh, an array is basically a collection of homogeneous items or homogeneous, homogeneous data. data uh, and the uh, storing of the data is uh, contiguous in the memory and the data are accessed linearly when implemented uh, in a computer or like that. Okay, so can you give me an approach or pseudo code? So suppose we have an array and we count the number of elements that have had at least one element greater than that. We have an array, fine. Okay. We have to count the number of elements that have at least one element greater than them. Greater than a given element. Right. Yeah, so in my array, suppose I have five elements, fine. Okay. In, out of those five elements, suppose three elements are those which have at least one element greater than that. So my answer is three. Okay. okay. So how much time it will take? Basically, if I think like that, so I am particularly picking one element and comparing the other elements. So in that sense, in order of n squared, I may optimize, but uh, I don't know any optimized optimized algorithm for that. Okay, take your time. Just think at least try for two to three minutes, and then if you are not able to solve, then we move to the next problem. Okay. Okay.
So one approach is coming to my 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 mind is that already I told. I'll be picking one element. Uh, I'll be picking one one element. Then I'll be comparing that element with the uh, with the next uh, other elements of the array, and uh, uh, I will increase one counter value. So like that, uh, I will and also I will store some um, values like uh, one array or a counter value for that element. So the number if the counter value is greater than zero, so I will uh, increase one another counter. Suppose I have an array like one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and five. Fine. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you tell me the final output according to the problem given to you? Can you tell me total number of elements are uh, in our array which have at yeah. least one element from them? Like if we talk about element one, fine. It has in our array there exists at least one element which is greater than one. Yes, fine. Sir. In the same manner for element having value two, again yes. we there exists at least one element that is either that be three, four, five. Fine. Yes, so total, um, what is the output? Four. I have four, four. such elements. Four. four. Fine. So you, your first approach takes n square time. Can you yes. tell me? So I'll give you some hint. Okay. So can we apply some sorting? Yes. So we can apply some sorting like count short, which will uh, sort the array in order in time. Then uh, I may use binary search. So. For finding an element greater than that, like that, or or or, or, or one approach is uh, we will use the count sort. Then uh, why, we count, will... why you are using counting sort? We are not providing the range. Like if I have an an array element five um, having size five, so element may be anything. It doesn't mean that elements are one five only. Then we can use heap sort or merge sort, which will take in log n time. Okay, then, then we will come. Then we'll compare the element with the next uh, with the next element. If it's the next element, if it contains some next element, so uh, we can by default assume that uh, that the next element is greater than the element we are considering. So in that way, we can do that. So how much time it will take? So it will take order of n plus order of n log n. So in that sense, order of n log n. Okay. Can you optimize? Please make an array having some duplicate elements. Fine. And then yes. try to solve. I already give you a hint. Try to do some observation and give me your final solution. Is it possible within order of n time? So if we do some sorting algorithms, uh, if we, we can't use the uh, right, the range is not provided, so we have to use the mean the best possible sorting algorithm that is n log n complexity. So for that reason, we can't uh, we can't optimize further. But if we are given with some range, so we no make... range is not there. So, so even log... okay, can you improve this one? Improve my approach. Is it order of n time possible? I guess no, because if we are using some sorting algorithm, so it's not possible to, uh, to get two into order of n. But without sorting algorithm, I just take I just want to take one minute of time to two. If you can, sure, sure. You have enough time.
So one approach is coming to my mind. Uh, with that, we, we may go, go go for order of an approach. That is, we will pick the first element. So if the next element or the subsequent element is greater, we will uh, we will uh, swap the value with the uh, greater element. Or if it's less, uh, so I am summarizing what my approach is. First, we will pick the first element of the array. Then we will iterate over the uh, over the array. So if we find any element that is greater, so we we will uh, stop our algorithm. But if we don't find uh, any uh, element, so there sorry. are sorry, physical... sorry, wait a minute. So why you are trying to stop your um, algo whenever you find an element which is greater than two one element? Okay, but I have to count total number of elements such that. Okay, we have to count. Uh, not the system. only. I haven't found the. Um, our requirement is not to find a, a element which is smaller than something, some other element. No, I have to find all such elements, or I have to count total number of elements in I, I in my array having at least one greater than to each and every element. Okay. So, see, see, I'll provide you some logic. Please think mm, about that. Can you tell me to find the maximum element in an array? How much time it will take? So, we have some greedy method that is that will be uh, maximum. So, if we, if we are using brute force method, that is that will be order of n. Order of n, fine. So, so, can I say like this, sir? All the elements, suppose I have an array. In my array, all the elements are distinct spores. Other than the maximum element, I have to count all the remaining elements because at least that particular maximum element is greater than all the all these elements. Fine. Yes. It it means I have a window like one, two, three, four, and five elements. Fine. I have an array of size five. And the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Or you can assume 10, 20, 30, 14, 50. Okay. I can say for element 10, at least one element greater than 10 in our array. So count is 1. For 20, again, I have at least one element that may be 30, 40, or 50. Again, count is 2. For mm -hmm. 30, we have one at least one element which is greater than 30. That is 40 and 50. For 40 also, but for not the 50. So my total count is 4 now. Getting my point? Yes. So what I have to find, I have to find only the maximum element. But the problem with that is, suppose my array is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 50. But in that case, it returns me five, not the four. Yes. So what my task is, first find the maximum element. And whenever we have the maximum element, find, delete all these elements. Then find the total size. How much time it will take? order of n to so find the maximum element order of n to find or count the total number of element which are less than maximum element again one iteration is required order of n so from n square to n log n to move on order of n yes are you getting my point yes sir, no problem. fine very good so um, Sumrat, can you just tell me the swap function no, with like temporary variable and without temporary variable. So for uh, uh, just write the, the pseudo code. Just okay. write, write the pseudo code using temporary variable. I have two numbers A and B. I want to swap these two numbers.
Okay, so with, uh, with the temporary variable, suppose the temporary variable is 10. So for that, we will first initialize 10 equals to A. So the A value is according to 10. Now the we can use the, we can write over the A. So I will do A equals to B. So the B value is written into B. Then the S value is scored into 10. So B equals to 10. So that works what? And for the, uh, without temporary variable, we may, we may have some uh, multiple approach. I will use the plus and minus approach. There, are, there can be also ZOR approach. So well, for the, suppose A equals to 10 and B equals to 20. So first we will do what is A equals to A plus B. So A will be initialized with 30. Then we will do B equals to A minus B. So 30 minus 10, so 20, 30 minus 20. So that will be uh, uh, 10. So B is initialized with 10. Now what we do, that is A equals to A minus B. So 30 minus 10 equals to 20. So B will be swapped to 20. So sorry, A will be swapped to 20. Fine. With XOR, with bit manipulation method. Okay, so what we do? We will first uh, initialize A with A or B. Suppose uh, A is 0, 0, 001 and B is 0, 010. 0. So A is 1 and B is 2. So can so you just tell me the all the instructions? Okay. okay. A, A equals to A or B. Then B equals to A or B. Then A, A equals to A or B. Very good. Very good. So moving on the like algorithm part, can you write down the Reconciliation for much sort? Much sort. So in much sort, what we do, we usually find the middle part and we divide the array into two halves. So for that, we, we will use recursion regression uh, technique. So T of n will be two T n by two because there are two arrays and to sort uh, to merge those two arrays, uh, it requires some uh, time that is n or constant into n. So the whole equation will be T of what n. What is n time? What is n time? N is the size of the array. No, you are saying that two T n by two plus n time. What is that particular n time? First, for the merging, merging of two arrays, two arrays. Okay, yes. fine. Right. So, finally, what is my complexity? Or uh, n log n. Is it stable? Um, no. 
Is it in place? It's in place. Is it in place? In place means uh, we will actually. Uh, in place means taking extra space. Uh, so, if somewhat if some technique is taking extra space, that is not in place. Yes. Okay, you are confused with that term stable and in place. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, for the in stable, place, uh, I stable, know. In place. Yeah, you know. I th I think you know because you have a great great score. So I think, but you are right now you are a bit confusing. I think stable means the identical elements ordering are same before sorting and after sorting. So so the ordering are same before and after in the merge sort. It is not in place. Fine, it will take extra space. So the, because of the recursion, like right? Yeah. No, it will take extra space in the form of subarrays, na? Yes, for, for the merge procedure. Yeah, merge procedure. Take some extra space. We are not sorting in our input sort input array. Okay, we need to take some extra space. That's why it is not in place, but it is stable. Okay. While if we talk about quick sort, it is reverse. Like that is not stable. But that is in place. Yes. Getting my point? Yes. So, Rajit, if you move on our like feedback, mm -hmm. so I think you require to go some like data structure part on mm -hmm. problem problem solving skills. You have to enhance your problem solving skills. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if we talk about the algorithm complexity terms, I mm -hmm. I think so that you already know all the recurrence relation and time complexity related to each pros like um, related to some standard algorithm of graded dynamic and dividing control. So do one thing, please give me one more snap. So in that particular snap, I'll try to check your algorithm part as well as some data structure questions related to array or strings. Fine. So do one thing, at least go with like 10 to 20 or 2 or 30 questions related to array. And try to just see the logic. No need to make the code. Just see the logic. Okay. Fine. You want to ask something? Oh, sir, the scheduling of the next session, we will. Uh... Whenever you are mm, feel ready. Okay, so I will message you. Fine. Anything else, bro? No, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day.